Well, good morning and welcome to another episode of Holy Face Time. Uh, today we enter into the Holy Tritium, Holy Thursday, into the upper room. So I wanted to dedicate this um, session to praying for our priests. As we enter into that upper room, remember the humility of our Lord and what he said that that in order to be this, the servant isn't greater than the master. So the master came to serve. And so we have that. We learn that attitude of servitude from from our Lord. And that he, you know, um, <clears throat> brought himself to the, lowered himself to, lowered himself to washing the apostles' feet, you know, to show them, uh, you know, the, the level of servitude that we are supposed to aspire to. And uh, it's it's a difficult one for priests, especially in the world today. Um, the amount of craziness that goes on there and the amount of abuse our, our priests uh, take from both sides, both the left and the right. They get hit from, from both sides. And um, so we need to really pray for our priests, for the holiness and for common sense to reign in uh, in the midst of our affliction, in the midst of the affliction of what the church is going through. You know, we call to mind, we just um, look at the the the, uh, the craziness our, our, of what's going on and what what has has developed over the years. We've been lulled into a sense of um, of. Uh, mm, We've lost the spirit of reverence. We've lost the spirit of living in the supernatural. We need to regain that. And how do we regain that? Well, we as the laity, we have to uh, demand better, right, from the church. But in a nice way, we have to, you know, not not go out of our way and marching orders and just we demand this. No, we have to bring it about in a, in a positive way. We need to. This is why, first and foremost, we need to pray for our priests and. Uh, to offer them up and into that continuous sacrifice of the mass, we have to offer up our priest in that too, and we have to offer up all our sufferings and all our intentions for the holiness of our priesthood. Um, so, I, so this is uh, this is where the church is at a sense where it's you know it's lost common sense, it's lost all its dignity and reverence. Um, you know, um, the Holy Church was meant to live in the fullness of all the senses, our eyes, our ears, our nose, our hearing, you know, that so we need to bring that back. We need to bring back, you know, the incense, the bells. We need to bring back uh, the, uh, you know, the, the, this, the, the holiness. The Church is meant to bring people into a place where they can find the divine, right, where they can enter into a church and go, Wow, I really sense the Lord's presence in here. So a church should look like a church, right? It shouldn't look like a, a hall or gymnasium or whatever. I know what, uh, sometimes we uh, we can't avoid those situations, especially today where we have to make do with what we've got. But we can still bring that sense of reverence with us. And, and uh, by being in the Lord's presence in the church, we should you know, bow our heads in silence. We should try to remain always reverent before the Lord and to avoid speaking with others, you know, really loudly after Mass or before Mass. We should always try and enter away from the church, Get you know, get out of the church when you're talking. Um, so anyway, there's just a few thoughts of mine we need to we need to really pray for that reverence to come back into the church. So I, I thought maybe we could uh, uh, dedicate this prayer by Pope Pius the Ninth um, for our priests. Um, o oh my Jesus, cast upon us a look of mercy and turn Thy face towards each one of us, even as Thou didst turn to Veronica, not that we may see it with the eyes of our body, but for we do not deserve to do so but turn towards our hearts that being sustained by thee, we may ever draw from that powerful source the vigor necessary to enable us to wage the combats we have to undergo. Now I'd like to also pray one more prayer, asking for Our Lady's intercession. Ah, from a beautiful prayer from uh, St. John Vianney. 
O oh, my beautiful, immaculate Mother Mary, Queen of Sorrows, I beg of thee, by the inexpressible agony thou didst endure at the foot of the cross, offer to the Eternal Father in my stead the holy face of thy divine Son, my Jesus, covered with blood, wounds, and other indignities heaped upon him during his sacred passion, and beg him to grant well, we pray for the holiness of our priest and a returning to the sanctification and reverence and in our priest uh, and, in, and in the church. We pray for this in the most holy name of Jesus and through the divine intercession of Our Lady, Queen of Sorrows. Amen. Father, Son, and Spirit, Amen. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, and bless me, your most holy face. Well, I hope you all have a, a beautiful holy tritium, and uh, I pray that you will you will discover the face of our Lord. And, and if you're discovering it for the first time, I'm praying, I'm praying that the Lord's light will shine through to you. His countenance will shine upon you. Grant you all the necessary graces to repent and to return to, uh, to, uh, to the Lord. All right, God bless and happy tritium. Bye-bye now.